After the guitar solo, the main rip is played, but sometimes we've learned all of the parts to the song, but there are some interesting fills that change things up. Phrase 13 shows a fill that comes in at the verse after the first chorus. Walk up to D, then down to a single C sharp minor. On the first string, slide up from the fourth fret and pull off to open. Switch to the sixth string, 15, and slide down the neck, pulling off to open. Then slide up and play the fifth string seven with the tremolo dip and release. Then switch to the third string seven with a dip and mute. The second half of the verse also has a variation. The walk up to D is the same. Then the fifth string open, two slide to four, to fourth string two, but end on the third string open. After the solo, the main rhythm is repeated, but the second half is played up to the first D chord, which slides up the neck, followed by a third string seventh fret played with pinch harmonics, and a tremolo dip, return, and slide down the neck. The rhythm is repeated, but for the second half, play a single open sixth string E, followed by fifth fret harmonics on the third then second string, seventh fret on the third then second, 12th fret harmonics on the 3rd and 2nd. And with the 6th string, 19th fret slide down the neck. Then play the chorus. After the guitar solo, the main rip is played, but sometimes it starts on the fourth string second fret instead of the open note. As the main riff is repeated, fills are added like this slide up the sixth string to the twelfth fret, give it a slight bend, and pull off to open, then dive with the tremolo arm and slowly return. The main riff is repeated, then a fill on the fifth string seven, nine, slide to 10, bar the ninth fret on strings three and four, fifth string 11, and bar the seventh fret on strings two, three, and four. End by sliding down the fifth string. 